Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So the last video that I did, uh, you know, the one that says I'm back, um, I told you that I was going to talk a little bit more in depth in the next video about the truck model that I built for Ernie, Ernie Hatmaker, my wife. Um, so I'm going to talk about that, I'm going to talk about what I did, uh, what I used to build the model. It's not box stock, so uh, there's, there's quite a few differences in it. I'm going to go over what I did as far as the changes the kits that I use and just uh, take a look at it and uh, see everything. So appreciate you watching. Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so the backstory on this, and I hope you guys can see this pretty well, is uh, we were at Acme down in Atlanta. That is the Atlanta Car Modelers, uh, I don't know what the E stands for, everybody. But anyway, Acme, it's down in Atlanta, it's a model car, and it was the IPMS show November last year. And uh, Ernie came up to me and she says, hey, I want you to go look at this kit. And she showed me this. This is Revell 1976 Chevy Sport 4x4, step side pickup truck. And she's always wanted me to build this truck. She, she has this, uh, this memory of a truck that used to run around town when she was younger and uh, she just really liked that truck. I think she said it belonged to one of the doctors that was here in town. But she really liked that truck and she wanted to be able to model um, to replicate that uh, what she had remembered. Now that in itself was a little hard to do because the memories in her head and not in mine. But uh, we, we started talking about it. I asked her a few questions and uh, we started with this, like I said, Chevy 1976, uh, it's a Revell, it's a 124th kit. Um, overall, not a bad kit, but there's also another kit that's on the market, and that's this one. And this is a GMC snowplow. Uh, it's a pickup truck, but it's got the fleet side bed on it instead of the step side bit. Now, when Ernie started telling me about it, she wanted the truck to have the white stripe down the side, you know, the two-tone paint and all that. I don't remember ever seeing too many of the step side trucks with that kind of paint scheme on it, but the fleet side did. So, that's the reason why I picked up this model was to get the bed out of it. So that I could have the fleet side bed and uh, make it into a Chevrolet fleet side instead of a GMC fleet side. So kind of a little bit of a kit bash right there uh, in the beginning so another thing that I did and just show you a few things here um, and, and I haven't built I was gonna use this one um, but I kind of messed up on the paint this one needs to go into uh, a, a bath and strip all the paint off of it but uh, anyway but my intention is with this step side that I have I'm going to turn it into a uh, Pro Street. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind for the future. So, one of the big things that I'm going to talk about, one of the lacking things in these kits, is right here. This is the seat and the floorboard for the cab of the pickup truck. And underneath, you just got this big cutout area right here. And there's nothing else there. There's no floor pan. There's nothing in the kit. So when you put this thing down onto the uh, the frame of the truck, you got all the detail underneath there. And you look, and you can see all the way up behind the back seat. And it just it looked really bad. So I'm going to show you what I did to correct that problem as well. So let's actually get into looking at the model. And I went to Hobby Lobby and I got this this case. 
and the case barely fits <laughs> over the outside mirrors here so uh, that, that was really interesting but um, okay so first thing that I did is I latched the hood shut apparently hold on there we go so it had a small block Chevy engine in it and I decided that with a big 4x4 truck I wanted a big engine in it so I swapped out the small block with a big block um, so this is uh, supposed to be I don't know, 454 396 whatever Chevy big block engine um, but they did build them with 454s in them so uh, that's what I did is I actually changed the engine and uh, I cut the engine away from the transmission because the transmission in this truck has the transfer case on it. So I actually cut the transmission off of the engine because it's all molded in, in two halves but it's all one piece engine and transmission together. Cut it off and I put this uh, the new engine on the, uh, the old transmission or on the transmission that came out of the kit. So that way I know that when the transmission mounts into the frame and the uh, the transfer case and everything is still in the proper position and believe it or not the engine actually dropped right in I mean it was perfect so you, you can hardly tell that it, it didn't come this way so but anyway that's, that's one of the big things that I did was uh, the engine um, also going to show you some photos here the kit did not have a master cylinder a brake booster it did not have a heater box in it um, just really lacking some details on the firewall so I added some of that I added brake lines to it I did the ignition lines I put heater hoses on it um, I have a, a bypass hose on the water pump a big alternator now you'll notice that there's two batteries in it and the kit comes molded with the two batteries but it had a little bitty tiny alternator oh yeah that ain't gonna work so I put an oversized alternator in it and uh, I actually built the brackets for the alternator I got the bracket across the top and the bolt that goes into the head. Um, I got a fuel line going to the carburetor. I got the carburetor linkage, uh, throttle cable on it. So battery cables and I built the, uh, the battery terminals. So a lot of detail went into this and I'll show you a lot, a lot better close up uh, here in just a few minutes of, of all of that. Now on the mirrors, these mirrors are horrible. I mean, just honestly, they're horrible. They don't fit well. Um, I had to do a lot of trimming on them. There was a lot of flash. So I had to scrape all the flash. Of course, you're scraping the chrome off of it when you do that too. Um, but I had to trim them down and kind of fit them on the side, but I couldn't get them to stay there. So what I ended up doing, and I know you guys are probably well aware of this trick, is you take some old screw, you heat it up and you stretch it out and you make it really thin. So did that and I took a really small drill and I drilled into the legs of the mirror put holes in them set the mirror on the door where I wanted it and I marked those holes with, with the same little drill bit and then I drilled holes in the door so I used that plastic that I had stretched out and actually pinned it I pinned the mirrors to the door and, and glued them on that way so they seem to be a little bit more sturdy that way hopefully they won't fall off uh, over time but uh, the one thing about it is this case barely, I mean, barely fits over those mirrors. They stick out there a good ways. So just uh, something to remember. Now, another thing I did, and you guys have been looking at this, was I made the tonneau cover. This kit is really lacking both the step side and the fleet side. It's really lacking in detail inside of the bed, especially the tailgate area. It's just like this big hole where you can see straight out the bottom of the truck. I didn't like that, um, so I decided that I was going to do a tonneau cover, and it's a whole lot easier to hide those problems than it is to try to fix them, in my opinion. So that's what I did. I uh, built the tonneau cover for it, put it on there. Now another thing, uh, and I'll show you this a little bit better closer up, uh, is I actually have metal exhaust tips. These are polished aluminum. I got some aluminum tubing and I put them in my drill and I just polished them uh, with, with regular car polish. And I used a drill to spin it and uh, polished them up. So I have polished aluminum exhaust tips on it 
because I didn't like the way the uh, the exhaust molded in the kit. It was just really flimsy looking. Uh, just, just yeah, a horrible representation of, of an exhaust system in my opinion. So, but I've got the polished uh, tips and you'll notice up here underneath the cab where I put the floor pan underneath where the uh, where the seat was that I was talking about earlier. So I'll show you a little bit better close up of that. Now I know uh, it's a little bit hard to see because I've got it mounted to the uh, the base of this stand and it's wired down so it won't move. Um, I didn't want it moving around with those mirrors being so close to the edge of the case. So uh, I put the blue stripe across the uh, the bottom of the mirror like a lot of the older vehicles used to have in it and another obvious thing that, that you uh, you've already noticed I'm sure is that I did the uh, the custom paint uh, actually this is a factory stock paint job but uh, the kit is molded in white and this this white that you see on the side and on the top that's actual plastic I haven't done anything to it except to polish it and then I painted the rest of it and I took a real fine, well, I took pieces of tape and put on there, but I used one of those fine uh, chrome markers. I can get it out of my paint drawer. So these are the uh, liquid chrome, what do they call these? Well, it just says liquid chrome. But anyway, got it at Hobby Lobby. And it's just it's a chrome paint marker. And so I put the tape down between the edge where, uh, where I had painted and I used that chrome marker and it, it replicates the chrome trim that would have come on this truck very nicely, I think. So, attention to detail. Um, something coming up. So let's see, what's, what's next on the bench? Well, I'm not absolutely positive that this is next, but I've got this sitting here and this is a 148 scale f4j phantom 2 this by hasagawa uh, now this is a very famous aircraft but i am not going to build it as showtime 100 i've actually got f4 blue angel decals so this is going to be another one of my angel or aircraft of the angels build series builds uh, it's gonna be the F4. And at the same time that I got those decals, I also got these. These are for the Super Hornet. And I've got a uh, F4 East, or excuse me, F18E Super Hornet 148 scale kit that's uh, kind of standing by right now as well. So two more kits for the uh, Aircraft of the Angels build series. And then of course, you can see back here behind me that uh, I got quite a few other kits that are waiting and uh, I don't know. We'll uh, flip coin, see what's next after that. But anyway, that's what I've been up to, and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot. Take care. God bless. And remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Oh, hey, by the way, Leia, I cut my hair. <laughs>